Welcome to the Defining Primary and Secondary Sources video tutorial. Today, we will be covering the definition of both primary and secondary sources, as well as providing some examples of each. Primary sources are materials that provide first-hand accounts about an event or topic. Primary sources can also include reflections and recollections on past events when they are made by someone who personally experienced them. Some examples of primary sources are diaries, letters, speeches, photographs, and newspaper and magazine articles published during a certain time period. Secondary sources are materials one step removed from an event or topic. Instead of giving a personal account, secondary sources provide information by evaluating, analyzing, and interpreting information from primary sources. Common examples of secondary sources include books, scholarly journals, and peer-reviewed articles. While these distinctions may be obvious for some sources, others can be classified as primary or secondary depending on the context in which they are used. Asking yourself questions like, is the author providing a first-hand account of this event? And, did the author draw from other people's work or experience to create this material? Can help you determine whether a source is primary or secondary. Now that you know how to recognize primary and secondary sources, you can begin to find and use them yourself. There are many ways to explore sources, both primary and secondary, and you can always ask us for help with additional questions you may have.